Bitcoin president has been elected in a South American country. I'm sure you've heard of the news, but in this video today, we are going to be talking about this exciting and beautiful energy that we are about to experience in the crypto space. If you guys don't believe that adoption is happening faster than you could imagine, then you need to stay tuned right to the very end of this video so that you can see exactly what you need to do to be preparing yourselves for this crazy bull cycle that has already started, guys. You're not too late, but you're also not too early. So it's just good timing right about now, up until the Bitcoin halving, and then maybe we'll see a bit of a dump before we continue the absolute insane rally that we will see in 2024 and 2025. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. I'm Kiara Ducas. Thank you for your patience for my erratic videos over the past few days. I tried to do what I could for you guys. I was doing a road trip down to Cape Town. I did a hike up to Table Mountain. Then I was traveling back up. I had lots of stuff to do. Um, over the course of last week and then Saturday, I had a crazy calisthenics competition. Uh, Sunday, I did some awesome workshops. My body is busted. It's sore. It's all the rest. But luckily, I get to take my beautiful Synergy Organics, vitamins, minerals, nutrients, protein shakes every day to make me recover faster, rest well, and absolutely get myself back onto track. So as you can see, I'm always high energy but my body is a little bit sore at the moment. So let's not waste another moment here, guys. You guys can see, I said here on this video, I did a little bit of a video for you guys about do not be fooled right now. I did this video for you two days ago, two days ago, um, guys. Do not be fooled because absolute insane stuff is about to happen, okay? Don't let... The pullbacks in the markets, and especially in the crypto markets, allow your emotions to take over. These pullbacks are opportunities for you to get even more crypto positions. Now, why would I say that? Well, you know, when you look at all these bubbles and you see these bubbles going absolutely ballistic after dumps, a few dumps last week, it's okay that the market dumps. It's supposed to dump. It's giving you a much better opportunity of getting into the space. Now, guys, I'm still in quite a few of my trades. I will show you those trades towards the end of the video. So make sure to stay tuned. And if you want to trade with me, then hit my Bitflex and my Bybit link pinned in the comments down below just for you guys. You can get yourself some crazy deposit bonuses there right now. So do not miss out on that opportunity. Today um, is going to be awesome. This week is going to be awesome in crypto. And especially considering that we're still sitting pretty stable up here at the $1.467 trillion market cap. We are now 52.5 billion trading volume in the last 24 hours. That's come down a little bit. That's okay. The market is getting, to, uh, getting ready to make a springboard happen. So... 1.46 trillion in the market. You can see we're in the green. We're up 2% for the day already. You can see Bitcoin is above 37K, is up 0.7% for the week. Ethereum is looking very, very delicious right now. And you do not want to be selling your Ethereum positions. Um, XRP is doing well, guys. All of the cryptos seem to be maintaining their stability. Okay. Now, with that being said, the fear and greed index has been sitting very, very high over the past little while, but we actually haven't gone into the phase of extreme greed yet. And once we're in extreme greed, that will be a signal for us to start taking some profits. Don't neglect taking profits. It is very important to take profits because if you don't take profits, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, and the market dumps on your ass, then you've lost everything that you worked so hard to gain. Okay, so very, very important. Now let's go and check out some of the news that's happening out there, guys. JP Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, and Bofa hit with negative rankings, a ratings outlook as Moody says US government has weaker capacities to support big banks. That's crazy, guys, because on my channel, I've been talking about money printers being going, going brrr, very, very soon. 
So if they can't print enough money to support the liquidity of the largest banks, JP Morgan and Wells Fargo, or some of the large, two of the largest banks in America, what the hell is the American government going to do? I don't know. Uh, I don't care because when they print money, that's going to make your crypto and my crypto absolutely go ballistic. And that's why I've said to you guys, don't miss out on the opportunity to transform yourself into a space that is literally going to be the biggest space in the entire world. It's all tech related. Tech has expanded and exploded like crazy over the past 20 year, 25 years already, but most importantly over the past two, three, four, five years, guys. So analyst Peter E. Nerby of Moody says that the worsening outlook on bank debt was due to the potentially weaker capacity of the government of the United States, which is a triple A negative, to support US systematically important banks. Okay. JP Morgan's downgrade was partially because the bank runs a complex capital markets business that may pose substantial risks to creditors. Well, I'm very glad that that's being said because banks are, some banks don't like the fact that you can get into crypto with them. Yet they are the ones that are imposing their beliefs on us that they are secure. Yes, they may be backed by governments and they may be all of this, but they're not secure. You can see that they've been downgraded. Okay. You can see that it is a substantial risk to creditors. Okay. So the financial system is absolutely effed, guys. It is broken. It is effed. You do not want to keep your money in the bank because when they continue to print and they actually announce to the world that they're going to be switching on the printers full time to work overtime. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You do not want to be holding their money. You want to be holding Bitcoin. Okay. We continue to expect mild recession in early 2024. And given the funding strains on the US banking sector, there will likely be a tightening of credit conditions and rising loan losses for US banks. That's not only happening there. That's happening even in my country, South Africa. And we don't have nearly as many problems as what the US government has to uh, with their inflation rate and their rubbish that's going on in economic management and financial management of the uh, economic and financial systems, guys, economies. This is crazy, this stuff, guys. It is ludicrous. But if you don't believe that Bitcoin is going to be the one, the next tech and the next investment and the next currency, guys, Bitcoin network fees skyrocket nearly 1,400% in November as ordinals inscriptions dominate the top, dominate top blockchain. Guys, I had a little bit of money invested in ordinals and my money over this time has exponentially grown because of this. Not 1,400%, but it's grown at least 300, 400%. Okay. Just in November, and we're not even finished November, guys. We're on the 20th today. So you can see here how ordinals pumped. You can see here how um, this is the one day. This is the one hour. You can see how ordinals just continue to pump, guys. So Ordinals is trading at $23.80 at the time of writing this. Now, I was dollar cost accumulating Ordinals at $3 and $4 and $5, guys. That's where I got my Ordinals. And Ordinals will continue to increase in price because there is also a limited quantity of Ordinals. So especially OD, okay, the ticker OD, okay, the project OD, Ordinals, okay. I hope you guys are not missing out on this opportunity. I have so much to share with you. So make sure you're staying tuned to the very end of this video. I have a lot more to share with you. It's going to be a bit of a long video. But I'm just trying to catch up on all the content that I missed out from you, from giving you guys over the past few days. So a trader who called 2021 crypto collapse says there is a sustainable Bitcoin explosion to all time high technically in the cards. Well, what is absolutely being said? So short-term volatility is always the most difficult to predict. That's what I was saying to you guys when I opened the video for you. Don't worry about the short-term volatility. When the markets dump, get some more. Do it. Hit my links down below so you guys can do this and trade with me. 
but brace yourselves for this one. Even though daily momentum is down, weekly BTC momentum is still up. Though technically, a push to the higher highs to, uh, to the highs is possible. And with price still in the LGC buy zone for long-term investors over here, okay, with the MACD pulling up, we are looking extremely confident. And this is quietly confident um, over here. What, what's of the interest here is that as compared to previously, BTC's price is only a month of pushing all time highs. And yet, price is not going parabolic like last time, meaning all the potential for more sustainable prices at these levels. Okay. In other words, we're doing well to hold the current price levels that we're at. Look at where we're going, guys. Look at where we're at. We're so close to the all time highs. So flipping close. Why would you sell your Bitcoin now? We're about to break it, says Crypto Trader. BTC is refueled and ready for a moon mission. And here is why. So says credible, uh, says credible crypto. And with that, the stage is officially set, folks. OI completely reset. Funding reset. Spot buying continues. BTC is refueled and ready to continue its moon mission. Make sure you're hitting my link down below to trade this with me, guys. This is about to go ballistic. Moon mission is about to happen. Okay. Uh, completely, OI is completely reset uh, since initial short squeeze. Okay. So it's reset. Coinbase spot buying continues. Funding rate is back to normal. Okay. So pull the reins in on. Uh, pull the reins in on all else. I have a feeling BTC is ready to do its thing. The trader also says that Bitcoin has already hit its downside price target and looks poised for a recovery. We've just hit my downside target. Now let's bounce, uh, please, BTC. So there was the um, the target. We'll have a look at my charts in a short little moment. But make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel for content like this. You guys know I bring you valuable valuable content here every day in every single wonderful way so i'm going to show you a few videos uh well i'm going to show you a video a little bit later on but i want to show you a few charts first so this is from stock money lizards shout out to you bull markets okay here is the neckline when we broke it and we retested it we were in a bull cycle we broke it we we tapped it we broke through it we continued bull market we broke it right now we are heading up for the bull market, guys, we are going to go at least to the 285 to 300k target that I continue to share with the channel and the audience. I would like to know what price you think Bitcoin will be at the end of 2025 when the bull market cycle ends. Now, if you've been watching my channel, my prediction was that the top of the bull cycle, like this area here, would be at October. Um, 19th which is a sunday in 2025 guys that would be very epic to see but not only bitcoin has go is going crazy but all crypto is going crazy right now guys especially the top two okay ethereum tick tock tick tock tick tock i've been sharing with you guys ethereum and how it's been breaking out you guys can see we broke out we went sideways and we broke up we pulled back a little bit and then we went up to go and hit all time highs. From the chart break, we to the all time high, we made a 2000% gain. So the same thing is busy playing out here right now. Even if we went sideways for a little while, they made the crazy pump. We could see a 2000% pump on Ethereum, which could take us up to $20,000 Ethereum, guys. I don't know about you, but. I hold Ethereum and I hold Bitcoin and I hold a number of other crypto assets that I will continue to work my way in trading between Bitcoin and the altcoins, making sure that I'm accumulating more Bitcoin, more Ethereum. Okay. Don't know about you guys, but these are very fundamental charts. So shout out to Stock Money Lizards once again. And here's another chart from Stock Money Lizards. I have predicted that by the end of the year, Strike of midnight, we will be at $48,000. So 
stock money lizards is predicting the same thing. Bitcoin year in target is between 45,000 and 50,000. Post halving target 2025 is about 200K. I've been saying 285 to $300,000, guys. You can see here the halving. Uh, we're coming up to the halving. Look at the rally that we made kind of up, up to this point here. Okay. Yes, then bar C19 and bloody blah rubbish. The same thing is busy happening, guys. The move is busy moving up to this neckline here. Once we get to that neckline and we breach that neckline at the 618 fib, and we all know Bitcoin loves the 618 fib, okay, we will see a ridiculously crazy rally. And look at the prices that are coming up here, okay, $265 to $365,000, guys. I don't know what you think, but I believe it's going up. And Will Clemente says, see the forest through the trees. The fiscal situation in the US is beyond the point of no return. The monetary base is mathematically programmed to expand in order to service interest payments on government debt. Did you hear that? It's printed to service interest payments on government debt. Not you and me. It's got nothing to do with you and I. So they're eroding the money that we're holding in the bank. And that's why I refuse. I would rather be a broke ass on my bank account and have lots of liquidity in the crypto space. Okay. Bitcoin is going to 500K plus per coin by 2030. It's just math. Wake up. Okay, guys. Wake up. And if you still can't see what it is, the percentage of Bitcoin supply that hasn't moved in the last year has just reached 70% for the first time ever. Okay, this is crazy, guys. Now, this is from Bitcoin, Ar Bitcoin Archive. FOMO season starts when Bitcoin, two-week RSI, crosses the 70 for the first time. If we repeat the last bull market, Bitcoin goes over 137K. So you see how everybody has their own price targets, their price actions, etc. But guys, this was a 58x. This was a 24x and a 3.8x. What are we about to see coming through today? Once this line breaches up here, we then start to see some crazy pumps in the Bitcoin price, guys. FOMO will kick in at that point. Now, Bitcoin is pumping. The exciting news that I'm going to share with you is that Bitcoin is pumping on Argentina electing pro-Bitcoin president Javier Millet. Okay, look at what happened to Bitcoin as that announcement was made. Gallic okay, I'll share something there with you in a moment. But Galaxy Digital estimates about 80 billion to flow into spot Bitcoin ETF within the next three years of launch. So maybe this Bitcoin bull cycle might actually extend past its usual suspective four-year cycles. I don't know. I can't predict that. None of us can predict that. But what we are doing is continuing to accumulate Bitcoin. Okay. So year one, 14 billion. Year two, 27 billion. Year three, 39 billion, guys. If this stuff comes into the space, remember that the multiples are currently today 118 to 1. So you were times 14 billion by 118, 27 by 118, 39 by 118, guys. Now, I just want to say something to you. Once we start seeing this kind of inflow coming into the space, I don't know about you, but this is going to be about one point. I mean, we, we're probably looking at about one point six to two trillion dollars minimum coming into this space for us to benefit from. OK. It's as simple as that. New a forty eight trillion dollars is managed by brokers, banks and investment advisors in the USA. If 10 percent of them made a one percent allocation in Bitcoin, that would see $14.8 billion fund flow flows push the price above 140,000. 
Galaxy Digital Research Note. Okay, now I want to go and show you this Bitcoin video, okay, of Javier Millet. Before I carry on on the rest of the content, make sure to stay tuned. And if you guys are enjoying it, you know what to do. And smash the links down in the comments below, as well as hitting my links for your benefit to come into the crypto space and trade this incredible, beautiful cryptocurrency with me. All right, guys, let's go and have a look at this video and see what Javier Millet has to say. Okay. De Bitcoin todo el tiempo. No sabemos bien qué son los Bitcoin, pero ya hay gente que lo, lo pondera como una especie de alternativa monetaria. ¿Vos crees que es posible en Argentina esa discusión? A ver, ¿cuál es el punto? El punto es que lo primero que hay que comprender es que el Banco Central es una estafa. ¿Sí? Es un mecanismo por el cual los políticos estafan a las personas de bien con el impuesto inflacionario. El Bitcoin lo que está representando es la vuelta del dinero a su creador originario, que es el sector privado. El, el dinero es una invención del sector privado para resolver problemas, digamos, de lo que tiene que ver con en una economía de trueque, sería la doble coincidencia y la indivisibilidad. Y después aparece el papel, digamos, como una cuestión de portabilidad. O sea, porque en realidad vos tuviste distintas monedas. O sea, tuviste el lino, el trigo, digamos, la sal, de ahí viene salario, uh -huh, de ahí sí. la, la superstición de si se cae la sal en, en la mesa. Y eso evolucionó y, y las monedas que eligieron los agentes que fueron los individuos, eligieron la plata para las transacciones chicas, el oro para las transacciones grandes. Y eso después, digamos, como era un peligro cargarlo, entonces, ¿qué hacían? Lo dejaban depositado y se llevaban un, un comprobante de que estaba eso ahí. Y después, en 1445, digamos, en el primer congreso de Génova, digamos, los estados se apropiaron de, digamos, de tener la exclusividad para poder emitir. Es que es el curso forzoso, que esta es la, la clave. ¿Por qué? Porque el curso forzoso es lo que le permite a los políticos robarte con el impuesto inflacionario. El Bitcoin, no, digamos, tiene un algoritmo y un día va a llegar a una determinada cantidad y no hay más. Y puede competir con otras monedas. De hecho, compite contra Ethereum, compite contra otros. ¿Y qué es lo interesante? Que es la vuelta del sector privado. Pero ¿cuál es el problema? El problema es que los estados no te van a querer ceder que el curso forzoso. Porque del curso forzoso te estafan con el impuesto inflacionario. Entonces, el Bitcoin es la reacción natural frente a la estafa que son los bancos centrales y que el dinero vuelva a ser privado... Y la contracara es que los, los políticos ladrones no te van a permitir ir contra el curso forzoso. ¿Qué es lo que pasa? Cuando vos tenés economías con alta inflación y el problema de la estafa es más claro, entonces hasta podés discutir, como digamos planteo yo directamente, eliminar el Banco Central. Wow, I don't know about you guys, but congratulations to Javier Millet. Well done and congratulations on getting into your power. I hope that you do treat your people with great respect, especially knowing and considering how the Argentinian economy has completely I mean, been obliterated. I mean, I mean, guys, if you guys think that El Salvador's economy was gigantic with um, uh, Nabuc, Nabuque has brought about incredible stability in El Salvador. Wait till you see what Argentina does. Argentina is a much bigger country. It's a much larger economy. It's massive, huge football team, huge teams that they have, incredible country, guys. So with legal tender, they can scam you with the inflationary tax. Bitcoin is the natural reaction against central bank scammers to make money private again. Javier Millet, president of Argentina. So guys, I really hope this guy really does very, very well for his country and to the rest of the world and shows the people that actually he is the king of his country and he will make sure that he does whatever it takes to obliterate the central banks and the scammers of the, the governments in central banks and make sure that his people are restored back to their original abilities to trade and survive through harsh times. And they will do that with Bitcoin. So 
Hope you guys have enjoyed that. Let's go and check out some of the charts now. And let's go and see what's happening in some of the action here. I have a lot to share with you, a lot to show you. So I will just let the chart load over here. But basically, you can see the Dixie chart. This is the four-hour chart. I'd like to go just to the daily so that we can see what's going on on the daily. You can see we broke out. We had a massive collapse. Guys, the dollar. This is from the Javier. The, undoubtedly, this is part of the Javier Millet uh, presidentially um, winning his campaign. And look at how this is comp completely obliterating. It's unlikely we're going to see any pullback up here. And why I say that is because this candle is closed below in volume over here. Which means that we're looking, yes, we're on a bit of a support line right here, okay? Technically, we should, but my, the likelihood for me is that we sit sideways and then drop down to the next level. That's what, for me, will happen. So if we've already had the kiss of death on the dollar, and if, guys, if you don't like that, well, so bad. Too bad. We are literally seeing Bitcoin rise up like the king it is, and we are slowly grinding up here. Whether we have pullbacks... To the support zones, it's all good. But look at how the day RSI is resetting. Look at how the MACD is pulling back up again. Look at how we found some support on these levels right over here. Okay, coinciding with the bottom end of my white box. I love it, guys. The weekly candle also closed very, very nicely up, up here in a bit of extra volume. Yes, we're a little bit oversold on the RSI, but on the MACD, we're just getting started. Okay, so. Don't sell your Bitcoin now. Not a good time. As you can see, the RSI is pulling up on the four hour. We are above the medium band of the channel. Guys, look at this level of support that we're busy. We're busy um, that we've kind of broke through up again. Guys, this is going up. And I don't mean to say this to you guys again. Even the total crypto market cap is going up. Look at how... This beautiful level, yes, we've hit a bit of a reverse here. So maybe the altcoins get a tiny bit of a sell-off while Bitcoin continues to rally. Because this is inevitable that this continues to go absolutely long. Now, this is the gold Bitcoin chart. You can see here, we are sitting pretty chill right here. But we are now oversold on the RSI, but about to rally on the MACD um, on Momentum. We are about to see some really crazy stuff happen here on this price action. Now, if you look here at the Ethereum price, Ethereum is looking strong. Okay, if I bring this line down for you, you guys can see that's the level of resistance that we'll need to break out of. Okay, this is essentially a downsloping trend, which is a bullish trend after it breaks out of the upward sloping channel. Now, the crypto total market cap, look at this. Look at how we're creeping up to my first line that I drew here. We hit the top, top to the bottom. We hit the top, we break out, and we hit this level up here. Then we have a bit of a pullback. Guys, the momentum indicators are telling us we're going long. If you don't believe that crypto is about to be bullish, well, I can't help you. I just can't help you. So let's go and have a look at my trades. Some of them were in the red last week. I told you guys I got stopped out of some of my trades. You know, that's the thing is as much as I love uh, you know, like uh, Thomas Carlo, I really love his content. I think he's an incredible trader. But And I love the fact that he wins 9 out of 10 trades or 10 out of 10 trades. I really think that's really incredible. And I look up to that. But when you're a trader, it's okay to lose trades as long as the winners are bigger than the losers. And you, um, the trades that you do make, okay, are really incredible because you're getting into those positions now at very, very strong and specific levels. So if we come over to my Bitcoin trade, it's still 410% up, okay? I'm about to add more to my position. My Cardano position is now way up with up 35%. And Cardano is about to break out, guys. My uh, Algorand position is up 65%. My AVAX position is up 167%. My cake position is up 74%. My Ethereum position is is at pretty much um, break even at the moment. But guys, you can see the size of my Ethereum position here. It is going to be absolutely magnificent. My Phantom position is up 70%. My Gala position is up, um, where is it? Up 25%. My Near position is up 230%. My Theta position is back up 20%. 
Now, some of these positions were actually down 45%, guys. I don't mind. I just continue to buy more and add to these positions. And I will be adding more to my Bitcoin position and probably a little bit more to my Ethereum position um, and my Theta position over the next couple days. So make sure to stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. I will be having a live session later on tonight at 7 p.m. South African time. I hope you guys are all there. Hit the notification bell so that you know when I do that video. I love you all. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned and we will have great fun here together, guys. Much love, beautiful blessings. Take care and make sure to hit my link so you can trade with me.